Biofilms can be invisible to the eye or present as black grunge that builds up in the water lines. Biofilms are complex communities of microorganisms including bacteria, algae, fungi, and slime molds. When biofilms build up around existing mineral deposits, it makes them even harder to remove using sanitizers like chlorine. Ideal conditions are created for harmful bacteria like E. coli, Salmonella, and Pseudomonas to multiply and thrive. Biofilms can eventually block water lines, leading to reduced water flow and even line replacement. Biofilms are different on every farm depending on water characteristics, barn management, and the age of the equipment. A basic water line cleaning program consists of these three steps. Acidify the water to a pH of 4. Let stand for 8 to 24 hours. This helps to dissolve the mineral complexes in the biofilm and the water line. Add hydrogen peroxide in a final concentration of 0.8% to 3%. Let's stand for 12 to 72 hours. This step disrupts the organic component of the biofilm. Add a disinfectant. This step is to kill any remaining bacteria which may have been exposed but not killed by the peroxide. During each step, walk the line and trigger the nipples with a clean broom to ensure that the whole system is exposed to the treatment. A high pressure flush of five minutes or one minute per hundred feet of line is necessary between each of these steps. Peroxides produce gas when they contact biofilms. So the system must be open to prevent bursting the water line. If the system has not been routinely cleaned between flocks, you may need to repeat the three steps and take samples to test the water quality after cleaning. Remember, when using any chemical, follow the instructions on the label and check the water line's manufacturer's manual to see what chemicals can be used in your system. Always check with the water line manufacturer for recommendations and approved products, which are known to not damage any components of the system. The best way to know if you have a biofilm problem and if your program is effective is to test the water line. Measuring a free flow water sample from the end of the water lines for coliform, salmonella, and pseudomonas. Because these samples are taken in the barn, it is almost impossible to have no bacteria enter the bottles. So, when interpreting the results, it is acceptable to have no more than 10 coliforms per 100 milliliters, and pseudomonas and salmonella should be less than 1 CFU per millimeter. If you have results above these parameters, following up with a swab and biofilm culture can be helpful in identifying the predominant species and the sensitivities of these bacteria to various disinfectants. For additional recommendations on general cleaning and disinfection waterline practices, refer to section 3.2 of the On-Farm Food Safety Program Manual.